Hey everyone, in this week's episode of Ask the Editor, we're gonna answer a question about renaming your clips. This is a super important process to happen before you import your clips into Premiere, since renaming them will force you to manually relink each and every clip. So it's gonna be really time consuming if you do it after you've already started your process. All right, if you're on a PC, open up your file explorer and navigate to your cards of footage. Open the first one and make sure that your files are organized in ascending order by name. And this is most easily done in the list view as opposed to thumbnail view. Highlight all the clips in that folder, right click and select rename. Now it may look like you're just renaming one file at this point, but whatever you name this file will be applied to all the files within that folder. For this exercise, let's rename the file card one and then press enter and you'll see that each of these files will have the same name, but with a modifier number in parentheses at the end. If your files were organized in ascending order by name, this should mean that higher numbered files will represent footage that was shot later in the day. Switching over to Mac, open up a finder window of your first memory card's footage, highlight all the items in that folder and right click. From the pop-up menu, select rename X items. And once this window pops up, select from the dropdown, add text. And then add any sort of distinguishing characters in order to differentiate this card of footage. So you may choose to do ACAM or Sony or the name of the shooter. I also prefer if these come before the file names, so select before name from the dropdown on the right. Hit rename and you're done with that card. On a Mac, you can always batch undo or rename any files that you've renamed through this process. Just select all those clips, right click, go back to rename X items, and this time from the dropdown on the left, select replace text. Type in the text that you'd like to replace on the left, and then the new text you'd like to use on the right, and click rename. This process of renaming clips is not only helpful for the proxy process of making sure that they get attached to the right high resolution media, but it's also helpful for archiving projects. So if you're gonna be using it for that purpose, it's helpful if your modifier text has something to do with the project, as opposed to ACAM or Sony or something like that. I hope this episode of Ask the Editor has been helpful for you. Keep submitting your questions to ask at rkscreative.com or through our website and let us know how we can take your editing to the next level.